Hey, what's up T3 family? I hope you're having a great weekend so far. This is Sammy with the Strategic Swing Trader. I am going to do a market review and a walkthrough of some of the swing trade ideas that, I'm, that I'll be watching uh, this week. So let's get started. The market, um, first let's point out the obvious. The SPY is currently lead, leading the queues. SPY made all-time highs on uh, Thursday. Uh, Friday saw a pullback and um, you don't usually want to see uh, a pullback or rejection of the all-time high on the very, very next day. But uh, I would say even though the pullback was a little bit deeper than expected, I would say it's not, it didn't do any damage. Uh, the queues is lagging behind but still has a nice rising 20 on the daily chart. We actually have a W pattern so we just need to take out Friday's high and we should see the prior highs. There's section rotation going on. That's why the SPY is now leading all of a sudden because the financials have, if you look at the XLF monthly chart, we have a monthly buy setup underway. So money is going flowing into the financials and the SPY, the S&P 500 is dominated by, uh, by banks and financials. Uh, so that's why the SPY is currently leading um, the leading the queues, but uh, eventually they c catch up to each other, and uh, the queues I think has a pretty bullish pattern as long as we can clear uh, Friday's high. So if we can clear 185.50, we should again see the prior highs before the end of next week. Okay, before the end of the week, uh, we should see the prior high. Uh, so I'm bullish, but I, I want to see uh, you know the market clear the high. Uh, it was kind of a deep pullback on the 60-minute chart of the SPY, but also the Qs. Here's the SPY. We saw that the 20 MA didn't hold. Now I always I don't just use the 20-period moving average blindly. I always look to the left. Was there support to the left? And the answer is there wasn't. In a strong uptrend, you don't need much support. The 20 MA should hold. But right now, new highs are being sold. Uh, there's some, definitely some back and forth. Uh, and we still haven't, you know, again, the, the, the support's still below. So we haven't violated anything. No reason to think we're turning bearish all of a sudden. We have FOMC uh, next on Wednesday, I think. FOMC rate decision. Uh, if the market runs up maybe into it, we might get a sell-off. Uh, or, you know, we'll see. We'll see how, it, uh, how the market sets up before FOMC. By the end of the week or so, again, as long as we can take out Friday's high, we should be at the prior highs. Let me go ahead and show you the, the watch list. We'll start with the triple BY, which is Bed Bath & Beyond. It's one of the very, very few retail stocks that has not participated in any kind of rally with the, with the, in the, with the retail sector. See it? So it's been in a severe downtrend for about four years now. Uh, but we just double bottomed. So this is one of those maybe hidden gems in the retail sector to go back up. So I really, really like it. The huge caveat, the huge issue is it's reporting earnings on Wednesday. So I'm not going to play it as a regular swing. What I'm going to do is watch how it sets up into earnings. I have an earnings strategy, a way to play earnings. So if it sets up the, the way I want it, uh, that it, the way I like, then I'll play it as an earnings play and keep it as a long-term play if it actually works out. So that's my plan with the with the for the triple BY, uh, EEP and EEQ. I can just I guess go over one or the other. It's the same company, just different classes of the same uh, company. Um, it's got a one, two, three, four, five pattern or breakout pattern basically. That's the breakout and then the, this is the additional base breakout. So I like it over the base with a stop under it and um, shooting for the declining 20 on the weekly chart as my target. Again, whether you play the EEP or EEQ, I think is not going to matter very much. The HCLP has a transition A on the daily chart uh, forming. So I like it over the base with a stop below it. Not too bad. If, if you look at the hourly chart, I use the hourly chart for my entries. I like the hourly chart to be set up just right. And uh, we have multiple bars up, so I'd like to see a base before it actually take before getting in it over 1270. The KDP, I'd have to open up the chart to show you what the KDP looks like, but it's a daily buy setup. 
It's actually a weekly buy setup. See this? That's a weekly buy setup. I like the rounding bottom on the hourly chart. Go over the base, stop under the base. Not bad. The TLRD is a daily pullback, daily buy setup with an hourly base breakout. Also not bad. Um, not the best watch list so far, for sure, that I've ever <laughs> had. Um, but, uh, you know, we go with what uh, I scan every weekend, my entire trading uh, universe. And I just go with what, what I get, what I get. If I don't like it, then I don't trade it. But those are kind of some of the top watches for me, uh, at least for tomorrow, for Monday. A WDR, I already have 500 shares in this, a small position, but I'm looking to add if it clears the highs. This is a, one of my favorite long-term set, uh, setups on the monthly chart. It's a transition A. So you can see the pullback, I mean, the, 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 the turn up on the monthly chart. So I really, really like it as a long-term play, uh, WDR. A ZGF, uh, no, ZGNX has got a weekly buy setup at minor support. Beautiful. So I just want I just want to see it break out above the base. Okay. Um, those are some of the bullish watches. I have some other ones, but uh, I prefer not to go over them all. Um, the FEYE triggered actually on uh, Friday is another transition A on the monthly chart, just like the WDR. So I like the FEYE, but I'm already in it. HOS, it's thin though. So HOS is very, very thin. Uh, this is also another transition A on the monthly. Let me show you some of the bearish watches. I have ACGL. It uh, doesn't look great on the on the daily, but if you look at the hourly, we have a base breakdown happening and then a stop above the base. If we look at the monthly, possible lower high uh, on the monthly chart. Let me show you the monthly. And there it is. So we've, we've been in a very, very strong uptrend for many, many years. And we had a very bearish deep pullback. And now this is a setting up as a potential lower high. I'm not saying it's going to put in a lower high and crash, but it could put in a lower high and retest the prior lows or somewhere here. That's five bucks. So that's not too bad. Uh, AMED is a climactic monthly, weekly, right? Here's the weekly and here's the daily. Daily has got a transition C setup. So when we have a stock that is, you remember the four cycle, the four stage cycle that I talk about, talk about all the time so this is the uptrend or stage two and then and this is stage three the top and that potentially is stage the transition C which takes you to into a stage four downtrend uh, I did the I just did the MED is exact the exact same play uh, the transition I caught on the hourly chart this was actually on the uh, I discussed this in last week's video. If you paid attention, this was a pretty nice trade. I mean, from I, I got it at 240, 46 or so. Actually, I have I took a couple of pictures of my PNL. So let me let me tell you what. Okay, so uh, at Med I got it at 246.96, so 247 basically. So 247 is right here, and you can see the transition C on the hourly chart. So the uptrend, the transition, the breakdown, and then the sell-off. Why did I do it? Well, because of the monthly climactic run-up. Doesn't really get much more climactic than this. See it? Up, 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 and then the biggest bar, biggest volume. And I got a beautiful entry on the hourly chart. I usually prefer to play, to find my entry on the daily and finesse it on the hourly. But in this case, the daily had a, an interesting entry. And the hourly really is what gave me the base, which I was able to short under it, and then the stop above it. I didn't need to use the daily high, which would have put my stop way up there. So this was a, a beautiful trade and made money every single day. Uh, what I showed you, the PL that I showed you was just for day one, right? 917. See, 97. Next day, same thing. Dropped, 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 and it crashed. I'm talking, it went all the way down to 181 huge like $70 drop right beautiful beautiful trade if you caught it this was again discussed in last week's trade in la I mean last week's video okay so those I do these videos because we like to um, give back to our t3 uh, community 
but also to showcase uh, our method and our uh, the level of education that you get exposed to, uh, in this case in the Strategic Swing Trader uh, program, hoping that you like what you see and end up joining. So that's why we do the videos. Uh, I don't necessarily love broadcasting all my ideas to the whole world, uh, especially if they're thin, but um, again, we do it uh, as a thank you, but also to showcase our methodology. Uh, BW, I was in the BW, uh, played it as a breakdown. Uh, it worked for a few days. I mean, I did cover half at 105, and in the back half, I trailed here. But uh, it's setting up again short as a, another breakdown. So here's the base breakdown. Here's the other base breakdown. It's going to be a penny stock at $1. So the short would be under $1, stop 113, I believe. Well, I know that's 124. Could use 115, I guess. But it, uh, it is becoming a penny stock. Uh, JKHY is a climactic uh, monthly, so it's the same idea as the MED. Now, the MED obviously looked much, much better, but it's the same idea. So I'm going to be watching it uh, short because it's a climactic monthly. VRS, same exact thing. Uh, it's not that I love shorting the bullish stocks that go climactic. I go with what the market gives me. If the market currently is giving me all these climbers to short, that's what I'll do. That's what I would do, right? So in this case, climactic monthly, let me show you the, the monthly chart one more time. Uh, the charts are really slow here for some reason. That's the monthly, right? Weekly is also climo, but again, the charts are taking their time. Looks certainly lower to about 25, maybe 23. And on the daily chart, we are getting a breakdown play. So a transition C on the daily chart. So I like it. WAB is just a sell setup. Broke the uptrend on this sell off, and then now we have a, a possible rollover or a breakdown on the hourly chart and a sell setup on the daily. So, those are some short watches. Um, I have a few more, but they're too thin, so I'll keep those to myself. And I like to keep my videos short and sweet. So, I hope you enjoyed today, today's video. Enjoy your rest, the rest of the weekend, and I'll talk to you guys sometime soon. Take care, everybody.